back to the sawdust factory. In the last video, we turned the solid walnut torus. Here it is right here. I think this project turned out pretty good, but I really want to do something a little bit different with it. In this video, we're going to convert the torus into a different shape. This will be done using a technique that I saw on Malcolm Tibbetts videos. You can look him up on YouTube. He's a great wood turner and does some really amazing segmented work. I can't exactly recall what Malcolm calls these things, like um, seamless form tubes or something. The layout of it looks like this. This represents the torus we've already turned, and these will be two small toruses that we'll have to turn. And then we'll split each one, and if you can imagine uh, the torus on this side like this, and then take the other half of the toruses, rotate them, glue them together, you end up with a uh, shape that is essentially a tube that kind of winds through this pattern. So we're going to be using the offcuts from the last project to make the smaller toruses. We've got to do that step first.
So here's the finished piece with the first coat on it. It's still drying. I'll probably let it um, finish drying and then sand it down with some 320 or something like that and then uh, put another coat on it. Once the first coat of this polyurethane tongue oil mixture kind of soaks in, it acts a little bit like a sanding sealer. So I don't really use sanding sealer much on my pieces, but definitely a very challenging project. Just getting the rings the right size to mate up with the, with the big one. They have to be very, very close in order to not have a big step or gap where the actual seam is. So uh, Malcolm was right when he said this is not a beginner project at all. That's for sure. It took a lot of time and planning to get this exactly right. Um, stopping to check work periodically. And this one is definitely not perfect, but maybe I'll attempt another one in the future. I think the, the key with this too is making sure you got a really nice piece of wood that is solid and very dry so you don't have any moving. But my piece of wood obviously had a lot of defects in it. Like this ring here is barely whole on this side. I think it adds to the kind of character of the piece though, so I like it. Um, I only have one mill flat right here on the inside of that ring. I put it on the inside so you couldn't really see it. But even that kind of adds some character uh, to the piece. So I'll post some stills up at the end of the video. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I got a lot of other wood turning videos on my channel. Go check them out. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe. Thanks for watching.